Today I want to answer a very important question. What is spirituality? And first of all, I want to congratulate you. I want to congratulate you for being here. Because this already means that you are on a spiritual path. And that you want to try to transcend the material realm. And what I want to do today is to give you my own definition and my own understanding of spirituality and what it means for you, for me, for everyone else and for humanity. But I also want to have a look at what it doesn't mean. Because unfortunately a lot of people who start out on this spiritual journey, they fall into a very dangerous trap. And that's why I first want to discuss with you what spirituality is not. Spirituality is not a feeling of separation with people who are considered non-spiritual. And this is something that I observed in a lot of people who called themselves spiritual, but who were still very ego-based. It is this idea that you are better than others, because you are on a spiritual path, you are unique, you found enlightenment, you are an awakened soul. And suddenly you judge others who, in your own understanding, in your reality, haven't reached this level of enlightenment yet. And this is a very dangerous trap, because by doing that, by judging other people, and by seeing yourself as better as other people who are not as enlightened as you, or not as spiritual as you, by doing that, what you're doing in essence, is that you are not spiritual at all, because you're no longer in alignment with the spirit that you truly are. Now you are ruled by your ego. You are no longer in this mindset of we are one big consciousness and everything is in order, everyone is on their own personal journey. Right now when you do that, when you judge others, when you put yourself in this position of I am better because I am on a spiritual path or I am better because I am enlightened and they are not, what you're doing is you let your ego rule over you. And this is a very dangerous trap because now that your ego is in control, you are by definition no longer spiritual, because you are no longer in complete alignment with your spirit. Let's say for example that you check out the link in the description and you use this program to find your true calling and you then follow your true calling. And then because you're on this path, you are on the path of becoming who you really want to be and who you truly are in your truest essence. If you're on this path, and you say, hey, I'm so proud that I am on my path of finding my true calling. I'm so proud that I do every day what I love to do. And of course, in this moment, it seems very, very, yeah, you could say out of your reality, very unrealistic to follow this old pattern of, hey, I work 10 hours a day, or even if it's just eight hours a day in a job that I don't like, and hopefully, if I survive it with 65, I will retire. Once you make this transition and once you have this awakening experience that you can actually find your true calling, live your true calling and do what you love and earn way more money with it than you could have ever earned in your job that made you miserable, once you make this transition, of course it seems very weird and very strange for you that so many people are still living in this bubble of I need to do something that I don't enjoy for the rest of my life and maybe I can then retire with 65. And a person who is ego-based and only pretends to be spiritual would judge other people for it. But for a person who is truly spiritual and enlightened, there is no judgment. There is only the desire to uplift the other person. To uplift the other person to a spiritual realm where they can break free from these chains. So once you are really spiritual, once you are really enlightened, you have this goal of being of service to others on an individual level, by helping them on an individual level and also by helping to raise the consciousness of humanity. Because with every individual that you help, and every individual who embarks on this journey, you know that the consciousness in total of our society, of our humanity, will rise. And I know that it's a very normal and natural reaction at the beginning of your journey to say, hey, these people are weird, why do they still do this? Because you suddenly reach a point where you can no longer identify with the behavior and the thoughts and the beliefs of, let's say, most people. But if you're truly spiritual, then you are no longer in this mindset of I judge them for who they are or for what they believe, but instead you say, I know that everyone is on their own spiritual path, I accept that, I respect their decision to be on this path, and maybe I can inspire them to reach the next level. Because when you reach a level of true enlightenment and when you're really on this spiritual path, 
then you realize that we are all one. We are all one consciousness and everybody is on their own spiritual journey. And everything always happens for a reason at the perfect time. There's no judgment anymore because everyone is you and you are everyone. It's all one. And even though everyone seems to be an individual in their own human physical form, you realize, or let's rather say you feel on a deep emotional level, that you are all one, that there is this one consciousness. And maybe their human form, their physical form, is vibrating at a level of consciousness that is very, very low and that you can no longer identify with. And of course, then the first natural reaction is to judge this person. But remember, before you judge someone, that maybe, just maybe, I don't say that it's true for everyone, but maybe you've also been in the past in these lower vibrations. And you've also done things that you wouldn't do anymore today. I mean, if you have a look at the old dating content that I wrote in one of my dating businesses, even if I have a look at it now, I say like, who is this person? Because there's so much judgment in this writing. I was judging women for having different partners. I was judging men for settling down. I was judging myself for not being attractive enough. I was judging everyone, like everything and everyone. But that was my old self. And realizing this, that you've once been this person, is very important for your spiritual journey because then you no longer judge the other people because you see yourself in these people. And this then leads to a better understanding that we are all one. Because yes, you've been on this path too. You've been on these lower frequencies in this lower consciousness and that's okay. It's totally okay. And in the same way as you might not fully comprehend how you, your old self, was able to think like that, feel like that and be like that and live like that, you might not be able to fully understand now how other people still feel like that, be like that and live like that. But because you have this understanding that we are all one and that you've been once in the same position, this allows you to break free from judgment because you no longer judge yourself, you accept yourself for who you have been in the past and you can use the same non-judgmental acceptance for people who are still in these low vibrations. And while you look at them, you realize that only their human form, only their physical form is still in this low vibration. Their spirit, their inner being is already on a higher level. They just need to find this connection. And I shared this personal story of me and my dating business and how I see my old self and how I sometimes look back and go like, who is this guy? Because I want you to understand that it's easy to forget your own path, your own struggle, your own suffering, your own actions that you wouldn't do anymore. I wouldn't say your own mistakes because every mistake is a learning experience. That's why I rather call it your actions that you wouldn't do in this way today. And you also have to understand that this spiritual journey is different for everyone. I, for example, in order to reach a high level of enlightenment and the consciousness level of joy, I had to go through a lot of the lower consciousness levels and do a lot of things that I wouldn't do anymore today. And for you it might be different. Maybe for you it's an easy transition. Maybe it's not. Everybody is on their own personal journey. Always remember that somebody who's truly spiritual is never judgmental. There is no judgment. And spirituality is the state in which you are in alignment with your spirit. I know there are a lot of different definitions of spirituality, but this is my personal definition. Let's trademark it. Sebastian Soul says spirituality is the state in which you are in alignment with your spirit. Or let's better not trademark it, because that would be ego-based again. And if you reach this state, physical things become less important than spiritual awakening experiences, than learning and then growth. However... That does not mean that you don't have any material desires anymore, any material wants. We live as human beings, we live in human bodies, and we still live in a material world. That's also why I'm so passionate about helping you to manifest your desires, to manifest your dreams, to manifest the house that you want, the money that you want. And yes, I know, these are all material things. But I've seen it so many times that somebody who claims they are oh so spiritual suddenly believes that it's wrong to have these material desires and nothing could be further from the truth because you still experience this reality in your physical body and we live in a world where money buys a higher quality of life and where you can buy amazing things with money that then also make you happier, that raise your vibration and that allow you to attract even more beautiful things in your life. That's why it breaks my heart when I see these people who claim to be also oh spiritual and they believe that materialism is the enemy and they have to abstain from everything that's material, nothing anymore in their life. And while doing that, they go down on a consciousness level that is very, very low without even realizing it. 
because suddenly they feel guilty for wanting material things because they believe that they are spiritual and as spiritual people this shouldn't be the case. And they feel shame for actually having these desires. And this is of course anything but spiritual, because now you lower your vibration again. Instead I want you to realize that being spiritual doesn't mean to say no to material things. It only means that your spiritual development is more important for you than the material things. And because this is the case, you no longer need these things in order to feel happy or fulfilled. Yes, you might want more money, you might want a beautiful house, you might want an amazing relationship and that's perfectly fine, that's awesome. And if you want me to help you to manifest these things in your life, you can check out the second link in the description and book your first Skype manifestation coaching session with me. I'm really passionate about helping you to manifest everything you want into your life. Like I said, you might want it, but you no longer need it, you no longer depend on it. And this is the important realization that I want you to make. By placing less value on material things than on your spiritual path, you are no longer in need, you are no longer needy. And once you make this jump from the material realm to the spiritual realm, you have the power to feel good about yourself, about your life and about your path without having this need for things, without having this need for external validation, without having this need to get something externally to feel better. And that's basically the whole secret of manifesting your desires. Because now you are vibrating on such a high level that you, even if you don't have these material things yet, you feel so good in the moment that it's so incredibly easy for you to attract the things that you want into your life. Because now you're no longer needy, you're no longer in need, you already feel good without these things. Because now you're no longer in need, you're no longer needy. Instead, you feel good right now about yourself, about your inner being, about your spiritual path, about the journey that you're on. And these feelings then allow you to vibrate on such a high level that you can manifest the things that you want so, so easily. And that was my personal definition of spirituality. And I hope you enjoyed it. And I also hope that you check out the link in the description to follow your true calling in case you're not on this path yet. Because I promise you, once you follow your true calling, it will be so much easier for you to raise your vibration, to reach the next level of consciousness and to eventually find your own path to enlightenment. And if you want me to help you on this journey, if you want me to help you to manifest things in your life or to just help you with any other spiritual issue that you're struggling with right now, then you can check out the second link in the description and book your first Skype manifestation coaching session with me. And if you enjoyed watching this video, please send out some love to the YouTube universe by giving this video a big, big thumbs up. And I would also appreciate it if you would leave a comment in the comment section below and let me know what you think about my video. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and to click on the notification bell so that you get notified whenever I release a new video for you.